So my name is Ashim Patil. I am the founder of uh, Infotech Software and Systems. We are popularly known as ITEC RFID. Today we are going to talk about some use cases uh, of uh, RFID item level uh, tagging implementation, which we have done for some uh, apparel retailers, footwear retailers, and many such formats in retail. A little bit about our company. We are more than two decades old. We are a Tech Mahindra associate company. Uh, Tech Mahindra has investment in us and uh, the strategic investment is to promote our solutions in the Europe and the US market. We have been, uh, everybody knows Fastax, so we have got more than 60% market share today in Fastax, uh, the Fastax supply and uh, we are also into the Indian customs container ceiling for all the exporters. So more than 4,000 exporters today uh, in the country which, uh, are using our RFID seals for their export containers. We are in the business of identification and tracking and we have done identification and tracking right from the statue of unity, Sardar Patil statue. So every bronze panel has got two RFID tags on it. We have done uh, RFID tracking for railway wagons, for vehicles, for containers, for wedding invitation, for documents, apparel, jewelry, so on and so forth. Our retail journey started six years ago when we started a POC in one of the largest retailers in the country. So far, we have done regional rollouts for some UK-based brands, uh, two top Indian brands, and we are doing POCs in jeans, footwear, grocery household, and also digital electronic formats. A little bit about the case study. So this case study, which I'm going to present here in the next few slides, is uh, we started the journey with a POC with one store and one DC with four SAP interfaces. So we did the POC for six months. Then we went to a pilot for five stores, one DC with many more SAP interfaces and the pilot ran for almost 12 months. And now we are in the process of a regional rollout followed by a national rollout for, this is for the one of the largest retailers, apparel retailers in the country today. What we achieved here is, you know, the inventory accuracy went from 70% to 99.96% in the store. The omni-channel fulfillment was around 75 to 80%, which is now 100%. The picking time for omni-channel, which, which was typically 24 to 48 hours, has come down to less than a minute. The safety stock, which is one of the key criteria for omni-channel fulfillment, the reason why most of the DCs, uh, most of the orders are routed to the DC, is brought down from 2 to 0. The time taken for inventory, which was done annually or uh, twice in a year, has been reduced to two hours from two to four days. The shrinkages have been reduced uh, and so on and so forth. A lot of impact when it comes to cost optimization, uh, operational efficiency. And now we are in the process of enriching the customer experience with smart mirrors and smart trial rooms and all. I'll be talking about it in the next slides. Few of the pain points which we identified for retailers uh, while developing our RFID solution, it was barriers at the entry, long queues, uh, the product hunting was a challenge, stockouts was a challenge, the customers were unattended because the associates were busy with other mundane tasks, the fitting room there was a lot of dissatisfaction and there were long queues at the checkouts. So what we came out was uh, with the RFID and uh, these are the four RFID tag options which our retailers are today selecting from. We are agnostic of the form factor. You can go with a hard tag, which is a dual interface tag. You can go with RFID label, RFID hang tag, or a wash care label, which brands like Decathlon and many more super dry and all are using today. We have a brief, we leave it up to the customer what form factor suits them most. So we are completely agnostic to the RFID tag form factor. And uh, we have done comparison on some 14, 15 points and uh, I'll be more than happy to share you the details of this slide or you can visit us at our booth uh, to discuss this in much more detail. Uh, another important aspect which the decision for RFID implementation is where you are going to attach the tag and where the encoding is going to happen. Encoding of the tag means the serialization of the EN number of the barcode onto the RFID tag. So we have various options. It can be done at the manufacturer or the DC or at the retail store. We have five different options and methods in which the RFID tagging can happen. We are ready to get into a consulting and workshop mode with you to decide the right fit for you. Option one is something which is used by the brands like Decathlon. Option two is used like brands like Zara. Option three is one of the largest Indian retailer who is using it. Option four is a UK retailer we are doing. 
and so on and so forth i, I can speak about this in much more detail uh, on a one to one session our solution basically is divided into various modules so this is the tagging and encoding module so we have five or six different ways in which the rfid tag can be attached and encoded i have got some videos for you for the live so we have a station a printing station a scan station a shell and a belt shell is basically a rfid cabinet which is like an rfid almira and belt is a smart conveyor belt uh, used for rfid tagging i'll just show you some videos so this is from an actual site where you can see a barcode being scanned and an rfid tag being encoded so what we have can you reduce the volume of it what we have the white flat bed is basically a rfid antenna the tag is attached inside the apparel so in the process of scanning the barcode the antenna beneath is encoding the rfid tag in a serialized manner another way is using a handheld device here you can see the barcode is being scanned and inside the shirt, shirt there is a rfid tag attached rfid does not need line of sight so you just scan the barcode and encode the rfid tag so this is a method in store where you can do the rfid tag attachment and encoding these this is to be done singularly but we also have bulk encoding processes so if you see these are our smart shells used in dcs and uh, for tagging at stores uh, where an entire carton Uh, filled with RFID tagged items up to 60 to 100 items in one carton can be bulk encoded and tagged in a single go we also have uh, smart conveyor belts our journey started 6 years back with a poc with version 1.0 and today we are in version 2.1 this is actually the uh, the 2.1 is actually the photograph from the bivandi dc of uh, super dry uh, of reliance brands uh, in mumbai where we have implemented this solution where you can see and that is what we are doing in rfid and uh, the serialization can be done in the bulk encoding method and this is all on the global gs1 standard nothing proprietary in this uh, then we have the inventory solution inventory can be taken by handhelds by flow devices by robots by portals and many other ways i can just show you a video when the handheld is picking up whatever is around so typically in a store which is having around 50000 apparel and around 7000 square feet or 6000 square feet the inventory is done by one or two handles in around one and a half to two hours so that is the speed of inventory so our customers are now moving from annual inventories to thrice a week or in some cases also daily inventory uh, omni channel uh, we talked about omni channel search so we have something called as a geiger search e in the en number and as you walk towards the apparel the geiger will guide you towards the right apparel so that you are not doing wrong shipments and all so this is uh, why our omni channel fulfillment has risen from 80% to 100% in most of our customer locations we have something like itech flow we have got dc robots and uh, trolleys for inventory taking you know you just walk through the trolley in the dc and these are some of the trials we are doing the this dc has got 70 lakh items in it tagged items and we are doing the inventory for them then we have the user experience uh, fitting room and uh, smart mirrors and all just a small Sizes. Ask about the right size. Size with the top. Now, 
Then we have a very interesting trial room analytic which we did for a customer uh, where we are giving them a fitting room conversion analytic wherever what is attracting the eyeball and what is the conversion rate. So we have found that there are many apparel which are always picked up and go to the trial room but they are never bought. And some items have a 100% conversion rate. So this is helping our customers to, so this is the kind of report which we are generating for the trial room analytics using RFID. Then of course the smart point of sale where, you know, so in a singulated one, we are doing it in a much faster and double the speed. And we also have something called as uh, self-checkout or assisted checkout smart wells uh, in which the point of sale can happen. Of course, the loss prevention also is using RFID, which we can do with overhead antennas. These are some of the pictures of Super Dry Store in uh, Malad in uh, Palladium Mall in Mumbai. And then of course we have our cloud application which is the heart of the system. We have different dashboards for uh, the DC, dashboards for the management, dashboard at the store level. Uh, our Android application basically is divided into five modules, inventory, movement, encoding, information and in the security and there is much more on the handled application which can be done uh, apart from inventory. When our customers are using uh, hard tags, you know, uh, there are two types of tag. One is the tag which goes out with the apparel and second is a tag which is removed at the point of sale. This is called a hard tag and it is reused. You can, a tag typically has a life of 10 years to 50 years and 100,000 right endurance cycle. You can use it one lakh times. So what we are doing is the tag refurbishment for our customers. When a tag is being removed from every point of sale, we collect them, we bring it back to our DC and then we are repackaging them, refurbishing them, re-serializing them and sending it back to our customers, suppliers or the vendors or at the source. And the same cycle continues for the recirculation of the tag and this all we are managing in less than one rupee for our customers. So if, you are, if they are using a consumable RFID tag, it is costing them three to five rupees per uh, consumable, but if they are using a reusable tag, we are managing it in less than a rupee. Of course, the capital cost is much higher in this case. Uh, uh, the KPIs, these are, this is our track record on the extreme right. I can share you this slide, but uh, these are typically the retailer expectations which we get. A typical implementation cycle will be with a consulting workshop and followed by POCs, pilots and rollouts. So we are more than keen uh, to get into a consulting mode with no commitments attached. Uh, please feel free to connect with us for the same. Uh, these are a few of the typical POCs. This is something which we did at Pantalu and Aditya Birla. Uh, we have just handed over one store in Borivli. So if you happen to be in Mumbai, you can go always visit Pantalu and Borivli store, which has got 70,000 apparel, all tagged with RFID. The trial rooms are RFID. The inventory is happening with RFID. The point of sale is RFID. Everything in and around that store. More than 10 to 12 use cases are RFID, uh, which we just handed over. And it all started with a workshop like this. Thank you very much uh, for your attention and uh, we are just uh, outside. I and my colleagues will be more than happy to assist you. Thank you so much. Thank you.